shortest topic is limit test for heavy metals so before starting limit test for heavy metals first we will see the what is limit test limit test are the qualitative and semi quantitative test this is designed to identify it is designed to identify and control the small amount of impurity which are likely to be present in sample and it is a simple comparison of turbidity opalescence and color with standard prescriber pharmacopoeia there was present uh, test and standard solution and this compared with each other this simple comparison and turbidity opalescence compare the opalescence and turbidity and it is a qualitative and semi quantitative test which is designed in such a way to identify and control the small amount of impurity which are the present in the sample so now we will start what is limit test for heavy metals in that principle that's in this test only heavy metals plus hydrogen sulfide gas in the presence of acetic acids in the presence of acetic acids then formation of their corresponding sulfide of heavy metals that was dark brown color in a standard that lead nitride uh, in the reaction with hydrogen sulfide then formation of a lead sulfide and nitric acids in that principle limit test of the heavy metals based on the reaction between heavy metals such as copper that's heavy metal like copper nickel cobalt bismuth and iron and plumber it's mean lead and hydrogen sulfide gas in the presence of acetic acid that was presence of that's acetic acids resulting in the formation their corresponding sulfide of heavy metals their corresponding sulfide of heavy metals it's dark brown color which produce dark brown color depends on the heavy metals impurity present in the sample it depends on the impurity which are this presence in heavy metal sample and there is a comparison between test test intensity and standard intensity if the test intensity is less than the standard then the sample is pass for limit test for heavy metals or vice versa in the acetic acid in the presence of acetic acids precipitated in only heavy metals presence in precipitation of other radicals in according to ip indian pharmacopoeia 1985 there was three method first method is for colorless sample uh, method b is for color sample and method c for those sample which formed clear colorless solution when it's mixed with sodium hydroxide solution but method a is not necessary then b and c is most imp uh, important for examination so i will discuss now method b and c so let's start method b in method b uh, hydrogen sulfide plus inhibition nitric acid plus inhibition of hydrochloric acid finally digested with water plus colorless in the method one method based processor in test sample first taken in a national cylinder in the test solution we will take one national cylinder we will take here 20 ml of distilled water and then dissolve the sample in 20 ml of distilled first sample will be take and We'll take in 20 ml of distilled water in a national cylinder, and second here, adjust the pH. We have to maintain the adjust, adjust pH 3 to 4 by adding acetic acids. By adding acetic acids, in C add 20 ml um, freshly prepared saturated solution hydrogen sulfide. then we will add 20, 10 ml of hydrogen sulfide solution and make up the volume up to 50 ml and this make up to up to 50 ml with distilled water and we will here this uh, standard solution in the standard solution there was this standard then 
we will take a national cylinder here 20 ml of distilled water and we will add 2 ml of standard sample in a standard we will add a standard sample standard sample and and we will maintain the ph3 to 4 by adding acetic acid and um, add freshly prepared solution hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide and make the volume up to 50 ml and we will compare the test and standard this we will compare test and standard if the test is less than the standard then test is pass if the test is more than the standard the stability or opalescence then it's fail in another C procedure in dissolve the sample in 20 ml of distilled water we will take a national cylinder in national cylinder this is the method C take national cylinder we will take 20 ml of distilled water here in national cylinder and then add 10 ml of hydro sodium hydroxide solution 10 ml of sodium hydroxide solution and make up the volume up to 50 ml and we will make the volume 50 ml 50 ml with distilled water and we will add 5 to 6 drop of sodium sulfide solution this sodium sulfide solution in method C when we will prepare the standard solution in the standard solution method B taken in national cylinder we will take 20 ml of distilled water 20 ml of distilled water and uh, we will add 2 ml of standard sample in that cylinder and uh, th that's me that is 20 ppm and add 10 ml of sodium hydroxide solution and make up the volume 50 ml with distilled water this 50 ml of distilled water and finally we will add 5 to 6 drop of sodium sulfide sodium sulfide and we will compare test we will compare test and uh, standard if test is less than the standard then sample is passed hope you guys like this videos and understand so more videos subscribe our channel